Hey guys, Jordan here. Today I'm gonna to be answering a real estate photography question, so let's get into it. All right, so today's question is, when using HDR, do you do negative three, zero, and plus three stops? And the answer is yes, that's, that's our default. Now, depending on how you're shooting, your shooting method, you may need to veer from that, but I've tested three, five, seven, nine exposures uh, on all kinds of ranges. And in my opinion, the one that um, delivers the best with the least amount of exposures is negative three, zero, and a plus three, and then blending those together. You can do five, you can do seven, you can do nine, but I think the gains, and actually more, the more you go, uh, more, more uh, exposures, it starts to look a little unrealistic. And so uh, it, it also depends on the type of the style of deliverable that you want to deliver. So we tend to uh, be more on the realistic side of things. So for most real estate photography shoots, the negative three, zero and the plus three is gonna be sufficient. Now there are lighting scenarios where it's like way bright and way dark on the inside and you may need to adjust your settings accordingly, but for the most part, negative three, zero plus three. So if you're interested in learning more about the real estate photography business, you can check out my free workshop. The link is in the description below. If you got value out of this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel as we consistently put out content just like this. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.